Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon, good evening. I'm gonna wait a few minutes to let a few more people join in. How are you all doing this uh, Thursday afternoon? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, too raw. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you this afternoon? Ooh, y'all, I got some hair. Lord Jesus. I got some hair on me, tickling me. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, so I'm not going to be uh, long tonight. Um, just something that has been placed on my heart maybe like a week ago. Uh, just by having a few conversations with my um, my mom and, you know, people that I am connected with. Um, and just looking on the media and seeing how things are today and time. This is placed on my heart, so I'm going to give you all maybe one more minute, everyone, one more minute to join in. Uh, I know it's kind of just like right after work hours, so I'm trying to give everyone just a chance. To... I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you are so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure if you are a male or a female, but either way, you are beautiful. You're beautiful as well um hi everyone okay so i'm gonna get started um like i said i'm not gonna be long but i'm gonna get started okay so you ready okay so um i have i'm a female and thank you you're welcome okay perfect <laughs> i didn't want to offend you if you was a if you were a, a male i'm sorry but you're beautiful and you're so welcome okay um, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with my scriptures. Um, I have three tonight. Why well, keep saying tonight? This evening, this afternoon, I have three scriptures. Okay. So, um, two of my scriptures are coming out of Psalms and the other one, the last one is coming from Exodus. So we're going to start with Psalms since I have so many in Psalms. Okay. So my first scripture that I have is Psalms 34 and 4. Psalms chapter 34 verse 4 okay so turn with me i gotta turn to psalms chapter 34 verse 4 okay all right and it reads i prayed to the lord and he answered me he freed me from all my fears okay i'm reading from the new living translation so um i'm gonna Read it one more time, okay? It says, Psalms 34 and 4, it reads, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Okay? So now my second scripture that I'm going to be reading is Psalms, once again, chapter 56, verse 3. So Psalms, turn, turn with me, y'all, turn with me. Psalms. 56 chapter 3 what what am i talking about psalms chapter 3 verse verse 3 what okay let me back up <laughs> psalms chapter 56 psalms chapter 56 verse 3 okay psalms chapter 56 verse 3 y'all gotta learn how to slow down y'all be talking and then your words just start going all over the place like how i say 53 like what okay so psalms chapter 56 verse 3 okay and that reads but when i am afraid i will put my trust in you okay so i'm gonna read it one more time once again it's coming from the new living translation and it reads, but when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Okay? 
And then my last one that I have is coming from Exodus, okay? It's Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. See, that was better, right? So Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Okay, y'all, so I have... I have a um I have an iPhone, right? And my grandma get an Android and right now I'm like flipping through the my Bible app with her Android and I actually like it better because it actually separates for all my iPhone users that have the Bible app, it actually separates the chapters and scriptures instead compared to the iPhone when you just click on the book of the Bible, you just click on it and then it goes chapter and then you got to and find the verse so you know i like it better okay so exodus chapter 3 verse 14 it reads god replied to moses i am who i am say this to the people of israel i am has sent me to you okay so i'm gonna read that one more time it says god replied to moses i am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. Okay? All right, so those were my scriptures for tonight, okay? I don't have the person that usually, you know, types it in for you all, so I hope you caught them. I'm going to probably um say them one more time before I'm finished. Okay, so to my notes now. So, if you guys haven't um, guessed or, you know, um, figured out what my topic is for tonight, it is fear, okay? So, my topic for tonight is fear, all right? So, these are my notes. During this pandemic, especially while we were on a complete lockdown, um, the beginning of 2020, I watched many of my classmates especially on social media. I watch many of my classmates, my family members, and a whole lot of other people be overtaken with fear. Fear can be a dangerous thing. Trust me, I know. I've been there. Fear can be a dangerous thing. The smallest little piece of fear can create and make you stagnant. It can cause you to be stuck in a place, in a season, where God is calling you out of because you you have fear. Fear has overtaken you. Fear overtakes you and can cause you to not fulfill God's purpose in, for your life if you let it. The enemy has ways of placing fear into our lives in the places where we have little faith in God. Fear of the unknown, like not knowing what the future holds, Fear is also placed in places in our lives where we lack control. Because, let's be real, we all would like to be able to control almost everything in our lives. But that's not the point. That's If, if we could control everything, there would be no reason to have faith in God. There would be no reason for Him to be here if we could control everything. So, the enemy likes to place fear in the places in our lives where we lack control. Even if it's down to a simple conversation, that's where anxiety stems from. It stems from having fear. So we must learn to trust God to the fullest in this season of our lives, in this season of the world. We must learn to trust him. Once we trust God and have faith, the enemy won't be able to overtake you with fear anymore. A male figure in my life has always told me that the enemy can't do anything to you to you as a Christian, but scare you and place fear all around you to cause you to not believe that God will and can change your situation. These scriptures that I have given you today shows us that God has our back and that we have no reason to fear, no reason to be afraid, especially during these times in the world where where the fear of the unknown can easily overtake us. So, with all that being said, I have somewhat of an affirmation that once you watch this video, because um, my mom is going to uh, post it on our, all our, our 
ugh, all of our other social media platforms so for everyone that's watching this video once you watch this video i would like for everyone to repeat after me or say it after i say it or you know basically repeat after me <laughs> it goes here in 2021 for as long as this pandemic lasts the enemy can no longer use COVID-19 or any of his repetitive schemes to place fear in my heart. Because I serve a God that is big, I serve a God who told us in his word that he is the beginning and he is the end, that he is Alpha and he is Omega that he is what he is so because of that i have no reason to fear because his rod and his staff they will comfort you and i believe that god will protect me in the midst of it all in jesus name amen okay so that's it um like i said it wasn't long tonight um I really want you guys to what that last part my little affirmation I want you all to really say that and rewatch this video and repeat that part because it's important that we speak over our lives and this is a way of speaking over your life okay so I want you all to say that and like I said, I'm going to get my mom to probably crop just that part out. So not the whole, don't post the whole uh, video. It might get posted on Facebook or like YouTube or something. But on TikTok, I'm going to get her to crop it and just post the affirmation, okay? So that you all can say it, all right? Especially when you feel like you're being overtaken by fear and the enemy is just placing so much fear through social media. I've, I've literally watched it before my eyes placing so much fear all these people coming up missing and and then the government and and fear of your job shutting down and all of this stuff that really we shouldn't be worried about because we can't control everything in this life so i've literally watched it in front of my face so repeat this affirmation when it gets posted okay so now i'm going to pray this is all for tonight um i'm gonna pray so let's bow our heads and close our eyes okay dear lord lord i ask you lord to use that affirmation lord that you have given me to touch somebody here on this live lord i know that you gave that to me for a reason because there is someone here that needed to hear that that needs to speak that over their lives to speak that over themselves and believe it lord and say it with confidence lord give them the confidence to say that affirmation Lord, I thank you, Lord, for using me, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for speaking to me and showing me what I need to bring out here to everyone here on the, in the world, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, that you just continue to touch them. You continue to touch their minds. You continue to touch their hearts, Lord. And you continue to step in when fear tries to overtake them, Lord. Remind them, Lord, that they have no reason to fear, Lord. Because when they feel afraid, all they have to do is just trust in you. And just remind us, Lord, that all we have to do is just trust in you. That's all we have to do. And I just thank you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. So, you all have a blessed week. I will not see you all next week. Remember, I'm doing every other week now. Okay? So, um, I love you all. We will be um posting some videos soon um we have some events coming up at the end of october and um i kind of want to say like the middle of november so the end of october and the middle of november be looking out for some new stuff for you all um love for my brothers you know they they can't come up here uh tiktok likes to block them if they come on live so um love from them and we love you all and i thank you all for continuing to come up here and allowing me to speak to you and speak over your life and i just thank you and i love you guys we don't do this much but i love you guys and have a blessed week all right